Yeah, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, let's have a look around. Yeah, yeah, just, okay. just making a video yeah. about the place today. Okay, I'll stay on the outside, I won't go in, into okay, restricted no areas. No problem. Not, mate. Excuse me, just a quick question. Do you know this Hucknall Hum that people talk about? I've travelled from Leicester to report on this Hucknall Hum. It's coming from down there, isn't it? Can you hear it now? Uh, it's mostly it's at night time, mostly isn't it? Night. Right, mostly okay. Because the, the tip off that I had said it yes. is... You can hear it in the day sometimes. It depends on the wind, yeah. Right, okay. So, are you believing it's from that Rolls-Royce building? I, I, I used to work at Rolls-Royce there. Yeah. yeah. And to me, it sounds like the extractors going. The extractors? Yeah, from the big booths and the, and the furnaces. Furnaces. Have they got some sort of scrubbing unit in there? Yeah, they've got all them. What is a scrubbing unit? Yes, they're So are you talking about the extractors kept outside yeah, yeah. that sucks all the dust from the scrubbing unit that's operating inside? What's the scrubbing unit actually doing? Is it is it like a, literally scrubbing something? No, it's more than like it just sucks it out into it, is it? But what's it sucking from? Um, it's all the motors outside, all the motors and all the machinery is outside. Right. All the pipes and everything's outside the building. Yeah. So from inside, you can't hear the outside noise, but when you go outside, you can. Right. If you go right down. Yeah, I'm going to go right if down. You go right down there. Because I've got a drone as well. Yeah, if you go down there and turn left, you can see lots of units around the new walls where you build it yourself. Right. Okay, so I'm going to try and um, raise some awareness and make a lot of people aware. Because I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook, I've got quite a big following. Right. And a resident around this area watches my, my stuff right. and he knows we can make a difference. So if you lot are having to live with an unbearable noise, which affects your daily life, does it affect you at all? Um, you can hear it. We just got used to it. You can hear it. Please bed your window, you can't hear it. So it's that loud you have to close your windows? Sometimes. Would it affect people's sleep, do you think? Yeah. It would. Yeah. See, that's not on. See, that seems to me, if it seems wrong, let's show everybody what's going on. I can't hear no at the minute, can you? Because of the traffic, you probably can hear it in the Okay, time. okay. So you need, you need real, like, low traffic noise, the wind coming the right way, and then you've got it. Okay, all right. I've got it, mate. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, I'm on uh, Facebook and YouTube, it's DJ Audits. Right. All right, take care. So from this angle, all you can see is those blue extractors there. There is a bit of a hum over here. A real deep, bassy noise, but... Yeah, nothing highly unusual other than the deep, bassy noise coming from inside there I think. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here at ITP Aero and we've come here today because we've been contacted by a couple of people now mentioning this Hucknall Hum. Now we've just come through on the bike through that little gap there which has led us here and I've just parked it over there, locked it up. So I'm not sure what the hell's down this road. It looks highly unusual with all these concrete barriers on either side. Like they don't want people going onto the, the footpath or something. Yeah, I don't know if it's a private road or anything, but as I say, I've come through there and I'm yet to speak to anybody. So this is located, as I said, in Hocknell and it's something to do with Rolls Royce. But at night, when there's little traffic and when the wind's blowing in the correct direction the residents around here have to close their windows just to get to sleep which is highly unusual so we've brought the drone with us we will be taking it over we'll try and get our take on things and uh, yeah let's see what we can find have you had an health and safety and e site induction so it all looks fairly new even this uh, structure and steps even the car park everywhere around this area looks new 
what might that little shelter be for there? When security stand there maybe and check passes. A bit unusual, isn't it? But there's blue shipping containers dotted around. Even mentions hangers. Yeah, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, let's have a look around. Yeah, yeah, just, just, just making a video about the place today. Okay, I'll stay on the outside, I won't go in, into okay, restricted no areas. No problem. Not, mate. Yeah, this car park looks a bit older down here, but everywhere else looks brand new. It's like they've reused the original uh, surface for this section. But even across all the outside fence lines, look. All brand new. And they've even got a secondary um, security gate on the inside with barbed wire on the top. And they've gone overboard on the barrier as well with it being a, uh, a double height barrier. So they have got security in mind. You've got all this barbed wire across the top there. And even the fences, where you have normally have a, a full length panel, they've even gone for the, the strength bar at the bottom, just to give it, and they've done that on every single one in the middle. To give it its extra strength. That's good. So yeah, you'll see on the sign down there, it mentions hangers, five, six, seven, and nine. And then the Larson building. The gardener there, <laughs> making a noise. It's not you, is it, mate? Yeah. It's locked up, mate. Yeah. Just checking uh, that the bike's secure. So, cones on a manhole cover. Why would they be there? Cones on a manhole cover. It's not unsafe, so I'm not sure why they've done that. So, the view from the front. We've got the nice company logo over there. And we've got the lovely security camera, which is uh, following me around as it should do. So yeah, even on the small panel, they've still got the strengthener at the bottom. But this is where the weak part, where it lets it down. And it lets it down so much that it's only held together with cable ties, look all the way up now that is a shame and the cable ties are a recent addition because you can see here they've actually left the off cuts as they've re-secured that fence so weak point identified all this security <laughs> around there is let down by that and the vehicle could easily enter across here. There's some nice hard standing. There's no risk of the vehicle getting stuck. Put some more of these um, concrete barriers along this side, especially where it's accessible by a vehicle. Else all this. So imagine the vehicle comes in through the grass. This part here, this ramp here is not um, too steep for a vehicle. So, as we're clearly being left alone to do our, our business, well, they are watching us, which is great, that's their job, but they're leaving us alone, they're not giving us no hassle. So, at this moment, we're gonna get the drone up and we'll have a good look around and see if we can identify where the noise might be coming from. So, we press record. There's no flight restrictions in this area. So let's go and have a look over ITP Aero.
So it's rather windy, but there's no warning, so it's not too windy. So there's the lads returning back to work. Let's see where they enter the building. A bit shady, but they enter the building just there a lot with the open door. We're above anything high. So let's go and have a look. What we got around here then? station there of some sort of hazardous material. Staff car park and an internal road. It's all part of their site or this. A dumping ground area, we like these. Obviously not the source of the hum, but I always like to see what they're dumping in those type of areas. So I'll just get it a bit higher so I can uh, still see it. microphone on it, eh? With like a, a reading where you can see the, the noise getting louder. trying to identify anything that could be giving off a lot of noise but it's all standard stuff around here. This is where we were earlier where we've got the extractors and if anything they are the only unusual thing I can see with them being so large and that's quite unusual as well out there. they might be hiding in this temporary structure. It does seem like it's coming from this side. You know, that's also some sort of bizarre extraction. So whatever they're doing inside this part of the building gives off a lot of waste, dust or particles. What else have we got? Is that some big hefty gas inlet? Hmm. Wonder what's happening inside this building. Is there any open doors? Or any more other clues? So that we can help these local residents with some sort of uh, <laughs> right as you can see switch over to GoPro oh gentleman just walking across the road thought it was coming in my direction store a nice little area where the staff can take their break the gardener 
normal buildings. Everything's just <laughs> like to the max. Whatever it does, it does it to the max. <laughs> but we've not had anybody that's been uh, very talkative here, so we've not got the benefit of anyone's knowledge. Maybe they've all been approached so much and been asked so many questions that they're at a point where they just ignore people now that are here. So if that is the case, we're not going to get uh, our normal interaction um, information sort of thing. So it's simply drone footage to see if anybody in the comments can have a guess where the Hucknall Hum might be coming from because all the residents that live in this area are confused. So I'm going to bring the drone down now and we'll see what else we can find from the outside. And they call this uh, Harrier Park. Dory Way Hucknall. Planning application there just to link the roads up. So maybe uh, to take this road further back. But Harrier Way, an ITP Aero. Let's see what they actually do inside this place. So what great timing. August the 3rd which is when I'm filming this video at 9.15 a.m. and it's only 12 midday. Rolls-Royce gets the go-ahead for £1.5 billion ITP aero sale. The engineering giant will hand over the Spanish business to a consortium of investors led by private equity firm Bain Capital. So there you go. New owners on the horizon. Will they take the residents' complaint seriously? At least that's a positive step. You've got new ears that you can voice your concerns to. If these haven't been listening, then maybe the new owners will. So reasons for these concrete barriers. Maybe to stop unwanted access onto the field or the old... Um, aerodrome that's around the area maybe maybe they've had issues on this road and this is just a uh, a preventative measure to stop them returning i'm just guessing but there is this strange thing which leads down into the the sewers maybe but the cover on it is firmly secure the bolt uh, is rusty but yeah, nothing to report here. Are you councillors? No, not councillors. Are you official no. in anything? Are you local? Local we, officials? Um, ah, council. Ah, okay. We work, we work in street work, real work. Oh, street work. I'm a YouTuber, right? And I've only come into this area to find the hum. Have you heard of the hum? No. The Hucknall hum? No. That's keeping residents awake at night? No. No, no. Well, I'm not from around here, so no. Are you in the local council, though? No. Right. The county council? No, I'm not. No, I'm We're from Byrish Middles, where they're a subsidiary in Nottingham County Council. We look after roadways and streetways. People that have worked in the highway. Right. So, so obviously, if, if the road surface uh, caused the noise that affected residents, you'd be concerned more, wouldn't you? Because it's your area, road. You need to report if you've got a concern they have. Or like that. Not my concern, it's the viewers. Right. So I'm just here to try and find try it, do some investigations, it. really. Right. I'm right. talking to everyone, it's trying right. to get people. There's a place called um, right. Britain's, I'm just on my way there now, and there's a place, the Aero place, you know, the Rolls Royce one. Yeah. 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 They're the two highly suspected buildings. Okay. I've done one, I'm on the way to the other, saw some officials, yeah. tried to get some yeah. info. Not this time, I'll let you carry on. No problem. <laughs> right, guys, have a nice day. So, Britain. Guys, do you work at Britain? You work at Britain, yeah? Yes, What's all this about the hum? About the what? The hum, the Hucknall hum. 
I'm a YouTuber. I've just come to try and find where the noise is coming from. Uh, don't live in Britain itself, so. No, it, they say it's coming from Britain's yeah. or the Rolls Royce one. So I've been to the Rolls Royce one. Yeah. It's not noisy there. And it don't seem very noisy here, does it? No. What's the noisiest thing that you do here? Uh, probably the grinding and welding, but that's only during the daytime. So when something's keeping residents awake at night, it's not coming from here? No, it's coming from somewhere, wasn't it? And this is Britain's, yeah? Yes. And it's just what I can see, the boundary? Yeah. Right, okay. In that case, let's get back to lunch. <laughs> Thanks for the chat, guys. Well, Britain's has uh, been ruled out. I'm trying to, trying my best, really, to find it. Do you know of the Hucknall Hum? The Hucknall Hum the noise at night in the local area? No, I, I, hear, I hear some banging, you know, like a machine or something, that's, that's about Just, it. It's like a, a constant hum, keeping people awake in the area at night. No? Do you, do you live very close to where we are now? Don't yeah. tell me where, Just is it close? So it is quite close, isn't it? All right, interesting. Where I'll let, is it from? Well, we don't know. Yeah, all I hear is like, you know, like a big machine or like metal bending. What, at night though? Yeah, a metal bending machine. It's, it's like, like a heavy weight engine, you can hear it. So like a banging? Yeah. Not like a hum though. That, that, that'll be like a hum, but a real, no, that motorbike, yeah. a real low version of that. I don't know, I'm out here, but I've been here for a while. So Probably got used to it. <laughs> All right, mate, no problem. I think, I think I did at the start. Oh, you did? Okay. And you've never thought about where it's coming from. Right. All right, mate, no problem. Have a nice day, yeah? Is that the Rolls Royce one? ITP? Yeah. Yeah. Looks derelict. Where are you looking? Sorry? Where are you looking? Well, all the fence, the roof, the grounds. Oh, is it better that way? Well, Are you on site sort of um, maintenance man? Yes, every day. What's all this about the um, the hum? The? the? Like the noise that runs at night. Oh yeah, they've got some noise abatement issues with the properties down the back there on the other side of the facility. So yeah, I think they're addressing them pretty shortly to be fair. Yeah, it's sort of your area as well, isn't it? The maintenance, the... Uh, well, that won't fall to the maintenance. That'll go to our small works team and they'll bring a, a contractor in to, to encase them the units, I believe that's the plan. What units are causing the noise? Um, I'm not quite sure what they are, to be fair. Say so I don't take care of them, that's their MTM take care of those. I think there's some kind of blast extraction. Is that the one with the blue? Yeah, blue? there are some blue units at one end, then there's some, I think they're black or green at the other end. Yeah, yeah they, they make a bit of noise. They, they, yeah, they hiss and spit and stuff when they're painting it. So. Well, they run overnight here, though, as well? All 24 hours a day, yeah. Yeah. So, the guys, but, never, the guys never stop. So them blue things that I've just mentioned, they're extracting, what, dust and...? Um, yeah, I suppose it's blast material that they use, yeah. Oh, so the actual like sand, thing... Like a sand. So the thing that's making yeah, the noise... Sand blasting, yeah, if you like. Oh, right, so the thing that's actually making the noise is the blaster. Is the extraction unit. Which is running 24-7. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like I say, you don't really notice it in the day to be yeah. fair, all the commotion. But I imagine in the, you know, the depths of night, you hear that, you know, hissing and spitting almost, it sounds like, yeah. Yeah, I've just come around, I'm from Leicester, so I've not really uh, experienced yeah. the hum, but I've just come around just to, just to see what it's all about, really. Yeah, like I say, it's a bit noisy down there, the best times when the guys are building light, but yeah, I imagine at night it can be a bit annoying for those asses that are right at the end there. Right, okay. So what, is it like, um, it's not a scrubber, is it? What's a scrubber? Um, no, I don't believe they are, no. No, I know what you mean, but no, it's not one of those, no. Is there a scrubbing unit in? I there? think there is a scrubbing unit, yeah, in there, but not on that side, no, right. I'm not sure. But yeah, they're definitely the blasters, because I look there behind the curtains in the area there. Right. So really, I need to be on the other side, don't I, to... Because yeah, this is the wrong end. Um, <laughs> what, to, on site or...? I just want to get as near to that noise as possible. Right, so if you go onto the estate and follow that road right down, you'll see where the guys have got their compound set up, you know, the contractors that are building the houses. Yeah. You'll see where their, con their compound That's is. That's where the defence is. The very end there. Yeah, I went there and I saw that blue sort of extractor. It's, it's that point, That's is it? it? That's, That's the, the nearest area, I can yeah, get. Yeah. Right, okay. All right. There's nothing, there's nothing really else after that point so far and it, it's, it's, <laughs> and it's really so quiet over here isn't it oh yeah, yeah. sleep yeah. all over the corner 
Apart from those bloody glasses. I walk around that side and can't, you don't hear much. Jeez, you get used to it, don't yeah, you? I imagine, yeah. like I say to the gentleman in the depths of the night. Yeah. yeah even when I was around there, though, it didn't stand out to no. be a... I suppose it, there was a tiny, like, bassy noise. Is that what you mean? That sort of... Yeah, yeah, it does rev up now and again when it really kicks in, yeah. Right. I'm going to go back around there. All right, leave you to it. You're on your break, aren't you? You don't want me rabbited on. <laughs> oh, is there? <laughs> you got a great job, mate. <laughs> what, on a, on a push bike? Like... <laughs> it's nice as well, isn't it? You like it? <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Well, there you go. Did they say more than they should have? <laughs> Uh, right, let's have one more look back round at where it's coming from. The closest we've got is that real deep bassy noise. So before we disappear, let's go there. And here we are again, right back at what we believe is the source that it's still not 100%. So we now know that inside here, there's some sort of blaster. The email that I received calls it a scrubbing unit. That this is the place where it seems to me that we get the, the deepest bassy hum from inside there. So, do you work here? Have you got any information? Have you got any photos or videos that you would like to uh, secretly donate to my email address, djaudits at gmail.com? You know, the whistleblower, the mole. Let us know what's happening inside this building and where the noise is actually coming from because we now know it's a 24 seven operation. I've been all around the area and I cannot find anything that's noisier. So this is my conclusion. Whatever's happening inside this building is affecting all the local residents at night. And look what the building, right next to it. Brand new housing estate. Should they be allowed to get away with it? Should it be turned off at night time? All these questions need to be answered. <laughs>